Look, I know we're not through Halloween just yet, but you know how this goes. We go straight to Thanksgiving. The holidays is 31 days away and competitors are dropping prices to try to convince you to buy your big meal from them. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze here in the studio to talk about all this. Great to see you as always. Always. So let's talk about the deals. Who's offering them and what type of deals are we talking about? Okay, these are actually some pretty big deals. It feels a little weird to be thinking about your Thanksgiving shopping right now, but you I honestly don't think you want to miss out on some of these. So just this morning, Target dropped a deal for Thanksgiving. It's going to be offering a $20 meal that feeds four people and wow, that's five dollars a person and yeah. it, it, this includes a turkey up to 10 pounds it also will get you seven six other items including gravy potatoes green beans and if you see there you can see this is part of a trend this season we are seeing these big retailers like Walmart offering un, uh, its own meal for serving eight huh. people seven bucks a person mm -hmm. Sam's Club a little bit on the more expensive side but ten dollars a person okay. for uh, Thanksgiving dinner and actually yeah. that one you can get pre-cooked I looked up and Ooh. you can hang okay, that so up in two hours you have to cook? right so maybe that's the you know a little bit of a premium there and then actually the, the be biggest savings out there right now is from the grocery store Aldi 470 a person for a meal of 10 there's wow. almost 30 20 items in that so you're getting a turkey a butterball turkey you're getting a bunch of other sides and what we're seeing here it's refreshing I was saying to you guys We've been talking about prices going up yeah. for so yeah. long, and now we are seeing that these retailers are rolling back prices because the fact is consumers, shoppers, they are still on a budget. Mm -hmm. They know that they can get savings, and so these guys have to compete to try to say, here's where you want to do your shopping. Yeah, That's mm -hmm. so true, especially when you think of the star of the show, which is mm -hmm. always the turkey. Always. And people don't want to have to like shell out too many dollars um, for that. So no. are you getting a good price for the turkey? Well, and it can really around. add up, right? Because if you decide you want to have, okay, maybe a, a bigger gathering, or maybe you want to feed more yeah. people, like, those turkey prices can get high really quickly. Sure. So one tip we have here is actually to look at the unit price. It's actually a good strategy in general when you're trying to save money. When you look at the sticker price at mm -hmm. the grocery store, you'll see the overall price, but then next to it, it'll say how much per ounce, per pound, Ooh. whatever the unit is. Yeah. This is a way to see actually how much you're going to save. So breaking this down, we did the math. Target has the cheapest turkey right now, 79 cents a pound. You're going to be paying the most for that Whole Foods turkey. Some of this, you know, they'll say, okay, well, we, you know, t take a look at maybe this is a priority for you to get that brand. But when you're just looking at the numbers like that, that really is a way to say, well, if I do want to end up getting a bigger turkey, yeah. the more of those pounds add up, the more of the dollars. I know. And if, you, if you add in organic with that, yes. it might be more expensive yeah, too. Yeah, turkey and Walmart, though, you can buy the stretchy pants and the turkey. Exactly. So then you're like, you're shopping <laughs> once. Actually, no, some of these deals, I did notice they're selling silverware, that they're selling yeah. plates. Wow. You throw some stretchy pants in, why not make it <laughs> a little shop shop? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, what is the best bet if, if you just want one takeaway from this? Looking at these numbers, this Target deal is pretty good, especially if you're going to have a smaller gathering, four okay. to six people. You know, people in New York, maybe it's don't have space. Bad, right? so that's maybe a good <laughs> option for you. If you're really hungry, like, you know, often my family is, if you have eight <laughs> people or more, those Walmart and Aldi deals are pretty great. So you got to kind of look at what you, uh, your variety that you want on the table. If you want 20, 30 items, yeah. those other grocers might have more options. But take a look at those deals because it is absolutely worth saying where can you bundle up and save and also just easier to do it all at once not have to make all those trips back and forth and yeah. feel like oh did I forget something I have to go back again Thanksgiving shoppers will face ups and downs in prices this year starting with the meal centerpiece the turkey after a few years of price fluctuations, Wells Fargo says fresh turkey prices are largely unchanged this year compared to last, with name brand turkey seeing a 2% decline in price from 2023. <laughs> Michael Swanson, chief agricultural economist for Wells Fargo, says conditions have improved for turkey farmers as the impact of avian flu has eased. They got through it mostly, but the good news is feed prices are way down. We've had a couple of really good harvest on corn and soybean meal in, in this country so they can actually feed the birds for less. Stuffing, however, may be a more expensive sell with name brands up 9% and store brands up 3% with Wells Fargo citing trailing labor and transportation costs. It's one of those things where we're still seeing a little bit of inflation mixed in there. And cranberry saw a bigger crop this year, pushing supply up and name brand prices down. We see about 2% more cranberries produced this year in the United States according to the USDA. That always helps. So we're seeing brand prices down 3%. Acknowledging consumers post-pandemic inflation fatigue, major retailers like Aldi, Sam's Club, and Target are all offering meal deals for gatherings of 4 to 10 people. A survey from Butterball found that 98% of consumers expect inflation to impact their holiday plans, up from 79% in 2023. Still, more than half of those surveyed didn't plan to make changes to save money. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.
The Consumer Price Index out this morning from the Labor Department shows a 0.2% rise last month, which is a 2.6% increase year over year. The October reading is also a slight step back from the Fed's long-held goal of 2%. Our policy stance, strength in the economy and the labor market can be maintained, with inflation moving sustainably down to 2 percent. Chairman Jerome Powell announced another quarter point drop last week, right after the presidential election. We've learned from the election just how toxic inflation and high prices and high interest rates are to the American people. Economist Larry Summers served as Treasury Secretary in the Clinton administration and is the former director of the National Economic Council. The Fed has been in too much of a hurry to cut interest rates and much too much of a hurry to promise future interest rate cuts. While Summers has concerns about the pace of Powell's strategy, many consumers had been waiting for a drop in rates to make things like homes, vehicles and credit cards less expensive. Taking a closer look at the CPI numbers, energy costs appeared to stay steady after a string of recent monthly declines. Used vehicle prices jumped 2.7 percent and airline fares also climbed 3.2 percent. One drop in something most of us use every week, gas prices, down nearly a tenth of a percentage point across all fuel types. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.